When you put the GoPro in the waterproof carrying case, maybe it's raining or something, how are you going to get audio into the GoPro? Well, it will still get into the GoPro, but it won't be something you'll want to use per se. I personally don't. So either you would want to record audio in later, or just only record fishing, and that's it. Maybe put music over it. This is what I do. iPhone, handy recorder app, which is a free app for iPhone. Purple Panda lavalier microphone. Baseball cap. See that? You'd want to clip your lavalier microphone to your hat. Underside, so you're not getting it wet. Then you just want your head to kind of pin the, pin the wire a little bit so it's not in your face. And then you would like, probably not already have the iPhone plugged in, but can you hear me right now? Like, you're, what you're hearing right now is it coming in through there. So, here's a test. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Okay, yeah, so now the iPhone, you know, I threaded the wire through my shirt, and I can stick the iPhone in my pocket, and continue my fishing trip with good audio. Another note, though, is how do you sync that audio with your video easily? You just clap three times, or whatever pattern you want, to get your attention within that waveform. First, you have to put your Go profile on your computer, and you have to put your audio file, which in the case of Handy Recorder, that app I was talking about, there's actually a SoundCloud connection you can make and upload it to SoundCloud, and then you use your computer. You actually go to SoundCloud, and it's there available for download. Okay? So once you've done that, you have your stuff on your computer and it's ready to sync your audio. So here is where I made that clip where you see me clapping. So this is the video, this is the audio. Ignore the video really really quick. If you scroll through it you can see distinct peaks and if you keep scrolling you'll see you'll see your clap in because it makes peaks like this. So really quick let's just make sure I have this right. Do it. Okay, so that's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for the three claps. To sync the audio, here's my other audio file. And this was the audio file I made with that microphone, this microphone right here, into my iPhone. Now that I have the claps, it makes a very distinct cadence, a very distinct um, three peaks that I can now line up. My guess is those are the three. And then you gotta, you gotta zoom in a little bit, as you saw me doing. And then you can align the audio that you recorded separate from your GoPro with the claps. And the thing about the two audio sources is they're a little different. So just align them as best you can, and it should sound okay. Actually, this will be a better... Zoom in as far as you can and just try to get them... Get those peaks pretty close to even. You can use your cursor as a helper. Okay, so now when I press play, you're gonna hear both file, both audio files play at the same time. And it should, you probably won't even hear an echo. So let's try it. Okay. You just clap three times. Or so that sounds pretty good. All right. I'm gonna try fading GoPro audio in right here. Fade the iPhone audio out and then you can hear what you'd be hearing otherwise. Hopefully you'll hear like some dripping noises and stuff. Because I'm hearing dripping noises, but probably not on this mic and maybe on that mic. Anyways, so if you don't have to use your waterproof case, the Purple Panda Lovelier microphone actually gives you two adapters to plug directly into the GoPro. Three pin, which works in an iPhone. Three pin to two pin adapter, you see? And then, two pin to GoPro. That just plugs right in right here. Here, I'll flip it over. Stand up and flip it over like that. And yeah, then you're good to record. This is kind of, this might interest you or maybe it'll apply to you. Say you're talking to someone, no, 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 no. And then the person you're talking to who is 20 feet away decides to say something that you need to record. You can unplug the lavalier microphone and it'll go directly to, within the recording you're still taking, you don't have to stop recording, uh, it'll go to the GoPro's microphone. 
The GoPro microphone is kind of like the iPhone microphone in that it picks up a lot of surrounding sounds. So like someone talking from far away would be heard a lot better in this thing's microphone than in the microphone that you've bought and that you're using to hear your vocals. Anyways, thanks for watching. Um, I hope you learned something. I hope that maybe you have some better ideas than what I have presented and you can throw them in the comments below. And if you have never been on this channel before and you like what you saw, um, subscribe. Thank you.